Hey, what the heck were you thinking with this lunch? This is the worst you've ever made for me. It was just a big pile of brown. It didn't even look appetizing. And there was no taste to it. I took one bite and threw the whole thing out. You threw out your lunch again? It tasted good. I tried it before I packed it for you. And I didn't put any food in it that you don't like. And when exactly did I tell you that? It must have been long ago. Well, yeah, but... Clara, come on. Don't go by things that I told you before we got married. Obviously, I was just trying to flatter you. My entire lunch break was wasted because of this crappy food. I had to go out and buy something at the convenience store. Sorry. It's been six months since we got married and you haven't gotten any better at cooking, have you? Come on, help me out a little bit. I'm trying my best. I don't care how much you're trying. I only care about the results. At least give me some results that I can see. You trying to kill me by making me eat this garbage every day? If it's that bad, why don't you just buy your lunch every day? You're just wasting our food by throwing it out, and then you go out and buy lunch anyway. There are no good places to eat around here, and I hate convenience store food. I've told you that, don't you remember? Yeah, but you're just eating it now anyway. Yeah. But I didn't want to buy it again today. I only did it because I had no other choice. Why can't you understand that? But no matter what I make for you, you just throw it out. If you don't want to eat at a convenience store, can't you get delivery or takeout from somewhere? You know I'm working. I don't have a lot of time to cook a whole meal for your lunch. Or better yet, why don't you just make your own lunch? That way you know you'll get something you like. All the employees in my department eat lunches their wives made for them. But you want me to order takeout. How do you think that would make you look? Do you want everyone to know you're that kind of wife? That you're just a temp worker through a placement agency. What you contribute to the household is nothing compared to me. The least you could do is the cooking and cleaning. I'm only working for a temp agency because you wanted me to. I wanted to keep working the same job I had before we got married. You were the one that told me to quit that job and leave all the family finances up to you. So don't hold that against me. I think I'm doing as much as I can. Once you figure out how to make a decent meal, you could say that to me. But until then... Hey, is the food I make really that bad? You're acting like it's not even edible. Is it so bad you have to throw it out? Do you think I have any reason to lie to you? I have to throw it out because it tastes like crap. If I tried to stuff that crap down my throat, you just end up coming right back out. I brought the exact same thing I made for you today to my job. I had the other people here try it and tell me what they thought. Everyone loved it and wanted more. There weren't any leftovers. Come on. They're obviously lying, don't you think? Nobody's gonna come out and tell you that it tastes bad. But one of my really good friends tried it too. She loved it. She wouldn't lie to me. What's wrong with you? You're gonna trust your coworkers over me? That's not what I'm trying to say. Besides, even if someone else likes it, that doesn't mean it doesn't taste like crap to me. You're my wife, so you're supposed to make food the way that I like it. Like I said, I'm doing my best. And your best isn't good enough now, is it? Your mother's really good at cooking. I don't know how you could have turned out like this. You should be thanking your mother. Your mom's such a good cook. I married you because I assumed you'd be just as good as her. Huh? What does my mom's cooking have to do with our marriage? That doesn't make any sense. You're her daughter, so I thought you'd have some potential. I figured if your mom was that good at cooking, you'd be able to learn from her and get better. Okay, I get it. On my next day off, I'll go back to my parents' place and have my mom teach me how to cook. Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> if that doesn't end up helping, I'll have to post about you on the forums. The forums? Yeah. There's lots of wives just like you who are lousy at cooking. A lot of guys get together to talk about it. <laughs> I didn't know that. Well, I don't want you posting about me on the internet. Well, that'll be up to you. You better start showing me what you're actually capable of. Start thinking about all the food you're wasting every day. I understand. So, don't you have something to say to me about today's lunch? I'm sorry? 
next time I'll make sure there's more color in it. And I'll make sure it's to your liking. That's good. That's all I wanted to hear. I'll be looking forward to tonight's dinner. Make sure you make something I don't have to throw out. Mom, can I talk to you for a minute? Oh, hi, Clara. What is it? Is it okay if I spend the coming weekend at your place? Yeah, I guess. What's wrong? Did something happen between you and Ron? Did you guys have a fight? No, we're not fighting. I just want you to teach me how to cook. How to cook? Are you saying he's telling you your food isn't good again? This whole time. He hasn't stopped doing it since the last time I told you about it. But worse than that, lately he's been throwing out the food that I cook for him. What? The food that you make? Yeah. He says it's not edible. You've got to be kidding. Ron will eat anything. I don't put any effort into anything I cook when he comes over, and he stuffs his face. He says your cooking is really good. That's why he wants me to learn from you. From my lousy cooking? <laughs> I mean, I don't serve anything that tastes bad. But I also don't make anything that tastes great. <laughs> There's got to be something wrong with his taste buds, don't you think? Your cooking is a lot better than mine. But he says my cooking is bad and he prefers yours. He says if he forces himself to eat what I make, he'll just throw it up later. I can't believe that. You've taken cooking classes at a real cooking school. You like cooking a lot more than I do. And you put a lot more effort into the meals you make. Huh. If he's throwing out food that you've made, he must be out of his mind. Mom, I don't think I can do this anymore. Every day he throws out my meals and then gets angry at me. It makes me apologize to him. Nothing I do is good enough for him. I can't keep living like this. I just can't. Clara, I know how hard you'll work to get something right. And I know you put that same effort into your cooking. If he's telling you that your cooking is bad, there's something wrong with his taste buds. Everyone I know says your cooking is amazing. And they tell me when you're not around, so I know they aren't lying. <laughs> if it wasn't true, they wouldn't bring it up in the first place. If Ron is making you feel this bad when you're at home with him, why don't you move back in with us? But to move back in with my parents over this? Is that okay? Of course it is. But I mean, he's not hitting me or anything like that. And I'm sure he's not cheating on me. This is all happening because I can't cook well. This is all my fault. The reason isn't important. If you are not happy living with him, you're not happy. You don't have to put up with it. And besides, you just got married. He should realize he should be putting someone he loves through all of this. Sometimes patience is a virtue. But other times, there are things you shouldn't have to put up with. Thanks, Mom. Honestly... I've been seriously thinking about getting a divorce recently. But I was thinking maybe it's just because I don't have the patience to put up with it. Why can't he realize how this makes me feel? It's been so bad. I knew something just had to change. I had no idea he had driven you this far. I'm really sorry I didn't notice. I should have taken it a little more seriously when you told me about it the first time. No, it's okay. I only told you what he did. I didn't tell you how it was making me feel. I didn't want you to worry about me, so I played it off as no big deal. But thanks. Now that I know I can move back in with you, it makes everything much easier for me. Yeah, but uh, I just can't believe this. I mean, I believe what you told me. I didn't mean it the other way. I just don't know why he says your cooking is so bad. We all know 
it's great. I know everyone's tastes are different, but to say that yours is so bad, it has to be thrown out. I'm starting to wonder if he just likes to see my reaction when he does it. Your reaction? When he throws out your food? Recently, when he throws out my cooking, he makes sure he does it when I'm looking. And he's always looking at me, too, with a big smile on his face while he does it. When I have a shocked look on my face or when he makes me apologize, he seems to have a delighted look in his eyes, and his anger instantly goes away. What is going on with him? Has Ron started to go mad? Oh, just listening to this is making me disgusted with him. I don't know what's going on with him. I have no idea what he's thinking. I wonder if he really thinks your cooking is bad. If he's just doing this to get a reaction from you, and he somehow gets off on that, there's got to be something wrong with him. Hey, how about next time I go over there and make dinner? That's fine, but if you make it for him, he'll just say that he loves it. He acts completely different when other people are around. That's not what I meant. I've got an idea. Just leave it up to me. Hey, hurry up and get back here. Don't act like this is the first time I've thrown out your food. You should be used to it by now. Why'd you run out of the house? It's got into you. I couldn't bear to listen to you any longer. Every single day you throw out the meals that I cook for you. You verbally abuse me. And you smile and laugh like you enjoy my reaction. I'll go crazy if I stay with you while you do that. What are you talking about? You're the one who made that awful dinner. You're the problem here, not me. What the heck were you thinking of those chicken wings? Why would you bake them? Chicken wings should be deep fried. They should be crispy. You can bake chicken wings in the oven. They were crispy on the outside. Those are the exact chicken wings you ate at my mom's house, and you said you loved them. You didn't just eat a couple. You asked for one off my dad's plate. So when my mom makes them, they're good, but when I make them, they're disgusting? Your mom's been cooking a lot longer than you, so don't even try to compare yourself to her. She has so much more experience. I didn't want you to just learn how to put them in the oven. I wanted you to learn how to make them taste good. Those chicken wings were made to taste exactly the same as my mom's. Huh. Your mom's are so much better than yours. Did you honestly try to make the recipe you learned from her? There's no way. What was with that coating on the wings? I almost threw up when I took the first bite. I'm tired when I come home from work, and this is what you give me to eat? Just like I thought. You're doing this just to spite me. Huh. What do you mean by that? It's never been about the taste. You've been doing all of this just to make me upset. I know this, because I didn't make that dinner tonight. It wasn't you? Then who made this dinner tonight? My mom. Did you not know she was there? Huh? Your mom? You kept saying my cooking was terrible, so I got my mom to help me. She cooked the dinner, and then went upstairs before you came in the door. She said she was going to take a bubble bath and have a shower. She figured that would give us enough time to eat dinner, and she'd come down after we were finished. Of course, you only took one bite of dinner before throwing it out. What? Why didn't you tell me? She really upstairs? Go up and check yourself. I'm not going up there if she's taking a bath. Oh, I hear the shower running now. I'm leaving you. You've been lying to me, making fun of me, and looking down on me. I can't live with anyone who would do that. Hey, hold on. What the... What's going on here? What am I supposed to do when your mother gets out of the shower and you're not here? Why would you leave me here with her? I didn't plan on you throwing out my mom's cooking and proving that you've been lying to me this whole time. But I told my mom that if you threw out the dinner again tonight that I'd be leaving you. I don't really have anything else to say to you. I'll leave everything else up to my mom. You can hear it from her. I think you went a little too far here. We're supposed to be husband and wife. That's what I thought. But it was you who pushed me this far. Making me upset, making me cry, made you happy. 
Clara, have you still not come home yet? Come on. So you think it's about time you reply to me? I was only being strict with you for your own good. Your mom has been being way too nice to you. Look, if you come back now, I'll forgive you. You're still talking like that? What are you talking about? You'll forgive her. How dare you say that? Oh, Clara. I'm so happy you replied. It's been two weeks. It's about time you finally cooled off. Do you know how selfish you're being by running off and leaving me for this long? Ron, this isn't Clara. It's her mom. Huh? But I messaged Clara's number. Clara is here with me, and I haven't let her see her cell phone for a few days now. She's too stressed out to deal with it. She's in therapy over what you put her through. When it's time to cook, her hands start shaking. And any time you message her, she starts crying. After I took her phone away, she's finally gotten to calm down. You need to leave my daughter alone. Mrs. Mitchell, you've got it all wrong. I was doing all of this for Clara's own good. For Clara's own good? But you couldn't even tell the difference between her cooking and mine. I really didn't want to have to bring that up, but... Your cooking is pretty crappy, too. Oh, is that so? I guess it was about time someone came out and told me that. But I'm really not surprised. I hate cooking, and I don't put any effort into it. <laughs> but yet, when you come to our house for dinner, you stuff your face like you enjoy it. You have extra helpings of everything. Seeing as most of the stuff I buy is from the frozen food section, I find it really interesting that you eat so much of it. You're mixing up stuff in my face with choking it down. I was just eating it to be nice. If you can put up with my cooking just to be nice, you can darn well put up with my daughters. I don't care if you want to make fun of frozen foods, but just remember that a large number of people buy them and like them. Lots of regular people eat them because they taste good. If you don't like what the majority of people eat, maybe there's something wrong with your taste buds. What have you been eating your whole life? What do you mean, what? My mother's a good cook. She makes everything from scratch. She's obviously better around the house than either of you. You know what? I tried giving your mom a call to see what she had to say about all this. Seeing as I know my daughter is a good cook, yet you throw out all the food she makes. I asked your mom to give us some recipes she used to make for you. Huh? You called my mom? Yeah, and your mother was so surprised when I told her what was happening. She said she wasn't using any special seasoning or anything special at all. She also said she never made anything from scratch. Most of the food she served you was from the frozen section of the grocery store, too. She told me when you were living with her that you always complained about how bad her cooking was, too. Huh. She was so embarrassed about how you were acting towards your wife. She started crying on the phone and apologizing over and over again to us. Yeah, well, she's got something wrong with her head, too. Do me a favor. Don't call her again without my permission. The only one who has anything wrong with their head is you. You've done nothing but constantly lie to all of us. What are you trying to gain from all this? Do you get off on making fun of every single person who cooks for you? Nobody can stand the way you're acting. Oh, shut your mouth. I can do or say whatever I want to my own wife and family members. So just keep your nose out of me and my wife's business. Okay, okay. I've heard about people like you. Ones who treat all women around them like dirt. I was thinking if you had a good reason for all of this, we'd give you a chance to talk it over. But it looks like that would just be a waste of time, huh? So that's why you're keeping Clara away from me. You're disgusting. Your daughter's a grown woman. Let her fight her own battles. If I end up divorcing her, just know it'll all be because of you. Please, be my guest. Hate me as much as you want. That'll just make things easier on my daughter, so I'm fine with it. Quit trying to act tough, you old hag. 
And stop fighting your daughter's battles for her. She's a grown woman. I don't care how old my daughter is. She's always going to be my little girl. My daughter has a huge amount of patience. She put up with you this long before telling me about it. She tried everything she could to fix her relationship with you and to make you happy. But nothing was good enough for you, and that's why we're where we are now. When nothing you try works, the only logical thing to do is to ask for help. And that's what she did. I think it was only because you were so nice to Clara her whole life. That's why she's such a weak-minded person, don't you? I see what's going on now. The main cause of all this is you. That girl has always been able to do anything by herself. I've never had to step in with anything in her life. But she's never had to deal with anything like you before. She was crying, begging me for help. I don't care what you say. I'm going to protect her from you, no matter what it takes. She's leaving you. Do you think she could divorce me just because I threw out her cooking? Oh, I'm sure there are many people who have gotten divorced over much smaller things. Emotional abuse is still abuse. Huh? I know every terrible thing you've said to her. Clara is diligent and thorough. She's written down every terrible thing you've said to her in her diary. She's even recorded all the recipes she's tried that you've thrown out, along with the date and time. And like I said, she's seeing a therapist now because of you. You better hope she doesn't sue you for mental anguish after she divorces you. You've got to be kidding me. She can't just divorce me. I can't believe you're trying to get her to do it. Maybe I should try suing you. Just stop. Ron, just stop, okay? Huh? It's me, Clara. My mom tried to stop me, but I have something I need to say to you, so I convinced her to give me my phone back. Clara, is this really you? Yes. Ron, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I can't be the wife that you wanted me to be. What are you talking about? Other than your cooking, I'd rate you fairly high. Don't you think it's time to start trying harder? See, that's what I'm talking about. Why are you always trying to rate everything I do? Why are you acting like our marriage is a test I need to pass? A test to see if I'm fit to be your wife. This is impossible. I'm done with it. I can't believe it took me this long to realize what you're doing is crazy. You're being brainwashed by your mother. Everything's fine. I'll be nice and let us start over from the beginning. The only one doing any brainwashing is you. Making me think that I'm a worthless woman? That's what you've been doing this whole time. But you're wrong. There are plenty of people who think I'm fine just the way I am. That's why there's no reason for me to be with you anymore. You're wrong, Clara. I need you. There's never been a problem before now, has there? The only reason there wasn't a problem before is because I was biting my tongue and putting up with your crap. The moment we got married, you completely changed. I was so surprised. I thought marrying you would make me so happy, but it turned out to be the exact opposite. Clara, I've had enough of this. Leave your parents' house and come back to me. They're brainwashing you. Just stop thinking about everything and get back here. No. Now that I'm thinking about this, I'm finally able to accept what's really going on. I'm not going back to that house. I want a divorce. But why? Why can't you understand what I'm saying to you? Well, what about you? What have you understood about what I've been saying to you? You know you can't live without me, can you? That's why we need to be together. <sighs> Obviously, you haven't understood anything I've said. I don't have any good memories of living with you. The way things are now makes me much happier. I mean, being away from you. Okay, I get it. From now on, I won't throw out your food. That's all you want, right? I won't make you unhappy anymore. It's too late for that. Then what do you want me to do? Come on, tell me. I think you need to change that warped personality of yours. But I doubt that's even possible. I don't think anyone could be happy with you. Everyone at work likes me and knows they can rely on me. I'm highly rated. 
So what are you talking about with this warped personality? If you can't even see what I'm talking about, there must be something seriously wrong with you. I think you should be the one going to therapy. Fine, I get it. I'll do exactly what you want me to do. So just come back and be with me. Let's improve ourselves together, okay? Why should I? What do you mean, improve myself? You can at least answer me that, can't you? But we're married. We're husband and wife, aren't we? We're supposed to support each other. And have you ever supported me? Well, that's... I've given you advice, haven't I? That wasn't advice. That was verbal abuse. I'm sorry to say, but you'll have to improve yourself alone. Just like I've had to do this whole time. After that, my husband begged me not to divorce him and made it difficult for me to do so. But I told him I'd file a lawsuit against him for mental anguish if he didn't divorce me. After he realized I was serious about that, he gave in and divorced me. I guess he was too proud to admit that he was wrong and didn't want anyone to know that his marriage didn't work out. It would have been hard to prove my mental anguish case in court, so I'm just glad I was able to get the divorce relatively easily and didn't need to proceed with the lawsuit. Still, because he was scared of the possible lawsuit, he gave me more than my fair share out of the divorce. We were married less than a year, so there really wasn't a whole lot for me to get from him. But just the fact that I'm no longer with him anymore makes me more than happy. And by the way, the real reason for our divorce got leaked out. And it spread around Ron's whole company quite quickly. Just by chance, one of the people my mom knows also works at Ron's office. She happened to let it slip out about what really caused the divorce. And she called my mom to apologize for accidentally letting it slip out at work. But it actually worked out in my favor. Because now all the women at Ron's office know and despise him for how he treated his wife. Now that everyone at his office knows his true nature and hates him, it must be pretty hard to go in and face them every day. But I think it serves him right, don't you? On the flip side, word of my divorce also reached my old company. And since they hadn't found a suitable replacement for me yet, they offered me my old job back. I wasn't very lucky with men in the past, but I've been lucky to be surrounded with lots of other people who truly care about me. They've helped me through this, and being around all these great people has given me the strength I needed to get over this hurdle in my life. I know it must have been hard for my parents when I went back to live with them for a while. I'll have to make it up to them sometime for all the great things they've done for me. But I'm extremely happy now being surrounded by all these people who care so much about me.